1939, a watershed year. Americans struggled with a worldwide depression. War began in Europe. Albert Einstein convinced President Roosevelt to start the Manhattan Project. But amidst this uncertain future, optimism prevailed with an entrepreneur named Albert L. Evans Sr. And with two trucks to his name, he began a modest operation to provide shipping services to Pottsville, Pennsylvania. From that humble beginning, the Evans network of companies evolved from a small trucking operation into the largest private independent intermodal drayage platform provider in North America, as well as a key provider of van truckload, flatbed, LTL, and freight brokerage services. In less than a century, the company transformed from a two-truck service with a single corporate headquarters to numerous satellite offices across the country supporting agents and independent contractors. The Evans Network now includes more than 700 nationwide agent service center locations and access to more than 8,000 owner-operators, all while managing over $1.6 billion in transportation spending. So how was this tiny business able to grow itself to serve the majority of all major ports and rails in the country east of the Rocky Mountains? Family members remember the earliest lessons imparted by Albert Evans Sr. So the first thing he taught me was don't buy trucks, lease them. When I was growing up, it was always treat everyone the same, treat everyone with kindness and treat everyone how you'd like to be treated. Second thing he taught me was to be open with people. He treated his, a handshake agreement the same as you would a 20-page legal document. Life has been good, pay it forward. Do the right thing, um, when, even when no one's looking, as they say. The third thing he taught me was to be kind. Uh, he, he was a kind guy. The key was to always give the person the benefit of the doubt and, and uh, allow them to uh, do what they, they can do for the company and, and uh, it, it generally turns out to be the best thing. Being empathetic, being caring, and being thoughtful. Those ideals are uh, the foundation of this company. They're, the, they're, they're what we live by, they're what we strive to be. Despite its impressive growth, the Evans Network still emphasizes its small business roots and the importance of listening. We are in the small business business. Each one of these agents is out there running their own business, and we're here to provide them tools and support to do that. You can get anyone here to talk to you and pick up the phone, including the CEO whose phone number is transferred to his cell phone and will answer at any time of day, all day, every day, holidays included, which I think is really unique in this day and age. We want to have the best possible service, and we have to be humble enough to understand that an improvement can come from any source. It can come from uh, a customer that says, did you ever think about this? It can come from an agent, it can come from a competitor. So it's, it's up to us to be listeners. It's up to us to uh, be thoughtful, so if we find a good idea that we can implement it. So how do you ensure the continued success of over 700 agent partners in your enterprise? Meet Evans University your road to excellence. The whole concept behind it was, hey, let's get everybody together in a room and have people network and talk about what they want to learn, how they want to grow, and what they want to do. So revenue is here. You want to get it to there. What do we need to do to help you get it to there? So we do these vision statements every year. And, and when we're in a, a university, we always get that out and have them start to think about where they want to go. Our agents love to get together. Uh, Evans University is out in the field and every time they go out in the field to hold a workshop, it's very highly attended because the agents love to get together, they love to socialize, they love to share best practices. As the company expanded into most of the continental United States, its continued growth became more important. The extended family culture is really the secret sauce. We're ambitious and we want to keep growing. Uh, we believe that a growing business can survive through ups and downs and bumps along the road, which we all are going to run into. So we're always constantly pushing to keep the company growing, to be able to help us in times of need when we do hit that bump, that we can handle it together with our agents and with our drivers. Another valuable lesson passed down by the company's founder was the importance of giving back to employees and the community in philanthropic ways. We've been very fortunate as a family, as a company, 
uh, and uh, we want to show people that we give back. Our scholarship program started in 2007 after my grandfather, uh, Albert Evans Sr., passed away in 2006. So it was a way to um, commemorate his life and also to, to talk about how important education was to him. We give four Evans scholarships. They are valued now at $6,000 each. We give five Jordan Agostini Memorial Book Awards that are valued at $1,000 each. And then we have one humanitarian award in memory of Thomas Zemack, a former employee, and that's $1,000. This community has been very good to our business and to our family. And we feel like it's the right thing to do to give back to those who have helped us. We've gotten a lot of support here in the community. Our employees who are here in the community are members of the community. So we think it's the right thing to do and we will continue to give back. And we encourage our employees to give back, volunteer their time and volunteer for various causes here. First and foremost would be the Walk-In Art Center that we share space with here at Evans. Um, so the Walk-In Art Center uh, was the brainchild of my grandfather, Bert, um, and he wanted to bring some arts and culture to Schuylkill County. My words, not his. There are a lot of nonprofits, and in a perfect world, there would be unlimited resources for every single entity because they all have great missions. Um, so what we try to do is be fair to all, but support some initiatives that uh, we feel go above and beyond. Another lasting lesson was to nurture long-lasting relationships. I measure success based upon personal interactions, not based upon data. Um, if people feel that we are striving to provide the best service, it doesn't matter what the data says, people believe it in their hearts. So the success is when I get phone calls from people saying thank you so much for helping me through this situation. I think when you look around and you see agents that have been here for 25 plus years and you see uh, all the agents that have come since I, I got here, the turnover is almost zero. And it's, it's, because, uh, it's because we work every day to, to make sure that we're uh, as good a partner as we can be to our agents. It's also because we've been successful in attracting the highest caliber of agents. We're a family, and I don't mean Bert and Bo and Matt and Ryan, I mean everybody here. The agents, the independent contractors, and our employees, we're all a family. Uh, we look out for each other, we have each other's back, and we always treat each other with respect. A century from now, when historians look back to write about America's place in the world, they would be wise to focus attention on the Evans network of companies. Consider what they accomplished. Facing an era of supply chain challenges, Evans managed to overcome transportation roadblocks while helping countless small businesses achieve organic growth in markets across the country. And by establishing a revenue acceleration engine with their network of agents, they were able to achieve a 99% agent retention rate. Our people uh, out in the field are very important to us, but we like to stay out of, out of their way. We don't like to intermeddle, we don't like to interfere, we like to build kind of some rules and guidance and let them flourish. Uh, and it's worked. Um, we've had agents come with us that have started with four trucks and they now operate 180, 200 trucks. Um, just stay out of their way. People can do uh, magical things. There's a DNA here. The, the people understand what it is to work for Evans. They understand uh, what, what you have to do. Uh, again, service the customer, service the agent. And they take an awful lot of pride in, in the growth of the company. And that, that DNA has kind of stuck even to locations as far away as Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and Chicago, Illinois. But it, 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 it's kind of a, it, it's, it goes without saying that uh, you know, we're, we keep our word, we do what we say we're going to do, and we try to treat people like we want to be treated. I've been doing this for 32 plus years now. I'm more excited about the future of the company now than I have been in the entire career. Uh, we've got a great team of people. The industry has been growing every year for the entire time I'm here. We have a little bump here and a little bump there with the recession, but this is a growing market, a growing um, markets that we play in, 
And I'm happy that uh, there's a great outlook for all of our agents and for our people here that will continue to succeed far into the future.